26. Summer's in full swing, and that means many of us are heading to the beach. But do you know how clean the water really is? NBC 26's Raquel Lamel tested several beaches across northeast Wisconsin, including some in Green Bay, Menasha, Oshkosh, Sturgeon Bay, and Sheboygan, to see how clean the water is. She's here now to break down what she's discovered. The biggest threat to local beaches is E. coli. It can get you really sick if it gets in your mouth, ears, nose, or eyes. And that's what we tested these beaches for. And the results may surprise you. Waves crashing on the sand. The sounds of Wisconsin beaches. For those who like to soak up the sun, it's perfect. But do you know what's beneath those waves? I just look for clear water, not a lot of garbage, that kind of stuff. A good place to start, but at Cardinal Environmental in Sheboygan, where they test Sheboygan County beaches three times a week, they say we're heading into peak beach season. The doldrums of the summer are periods of time when we seem to have more elevated results. Higher E. coli readings due to more algae blooms, more beach usage, higher levels of seagulls, more runoff, it's all feeding the bacteria levels. There's more evaporation. So you have uh, E. coli levels in, uh, in a more concentrated amount of water. On July 14th, we tested five water samples. Here they are. The yellow pockets mean there's bacteria in the water, something to be expected at a natural beach. But when the lights go out... The ones that are fluorescing, those are the ones that have the E. coli present. It looks like a lot, but it's really not. The beach water is considered safe if the levels are below 235 colony forming units per 100 milliliter. Here's the breakdown of what we tested. Portage Park Beach in Sturgeon Bay, six E. coli colonies per 100 milliliters. Menominee Park Beach in Oshkosh came in next lowest at eight E. coli colonies per 100 milliliters. Deland Park Beach in Sheboygan, 79 E. coli colonies per 100 milliliters. At Waverly Beach in Menasha, 64 E. coli colonies per 100 milliliters. But at the highest level, a level which would post an advisory or yellow caution sign at the beach warning swimmers to stay out of the water, was Bay Beach in Green Bay at 770 E. coli colonies per 100 milliliters. Any one sample um, really is not indicative of the conditions of the beaches overall. Uh, you want to get a track record. According to water testing done specifically at Bay Beach between 2012 and 2014, of 91 E. coli samples taken, only 15% of them came back at advisory level and 4% at closed. That bacteria is probably um, similar to what we would see in some of the Door County beaches. Right now, Bay Beach's beach isn't used for swimming, but if it were to be at the way it was at the time of this sampling, E. coli levels are too high. Depending on their own immune system, some people can get very sick from E. coli and some people aren't affected as much, but most people get um, abdominal cramps, uh, a diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, slight fever. Beach water experts suggest paying attention to water quality signs posted on beaches. Those signs can be either red, green, or yellow, depending on the beach conditions. But they normally look like this, and they're posted near pavilions or bathrooms at the beach. It is to protect our residents and our patrons of our beach. So what determines a closure? The breakdown is simple. A beach is open if E. coli levels are 235 colonies per 100 milliliters or less. It's placed on advisory if E. coli levels are between 235 and 1,000 colonies per 100 milliliters, and it's closed if E. coli levels are 1,000 colonies or more per 100 milliliters. It's not changed until we find, until the water quality level is, is proven to be lower. So for beach lovers like Mandy Monfils of Brussels, most beaches in northeast Wisconsin are good to go, leaving you free to pick and choose. I prefer the lake over the bay or like Fox River. Water testing experts say no beach is ever E. coli free or bacteria free, but if you watch the posted signs, you'll be much safer when heading to the shoreline. Health department experts say it's important to make sure you wash your hands before eating after playing at a beach and shower when you get home just to play it safe. Keeping you connected, Raquel Amell, NBC 26. For a link to see beach ratings in your area or to see the report on the Bay Beach water testing, just head to our website and click on this story. You're watching NBC 26 Live at 10. We'll be right back.